I have received a lot of questions about just how am I going to sew these pieces together. And you're right, it is a problem. Uh, if I were dealing with pieces of uniform sizes, uh, it would be no problem. I would just have a formula that I would keep executing over and over again. But, obviously, I don't. So, I have to plan pretty much ahead as to uh, what I am going to sew together in what order so that I, because I want to avoid any uh, curve turns. I can't come down here and turn. I don't want to ever turn, right? I can't come here and turn. So I have to sew larger strips uh, together that, well, see, I have this here, sewing these together. Oh, uh, this I have sewn together. This piece, I've sewn, I've sewn this together. I, I sewed that together. I'm trying to think ahead. I've got, these are sewn together. So, I can't sew this onto this. I have to sew this onto that. Then I will sew that onto this. Then I can sew, no, I won't be able to sew that onto this. I can sew this this onto this, which I have sewn together. Before I can do that, I'll have to sew this, this to this. Now, the way I sew these together is I have to have right sides together, right? So that I wind up, obviously, with my, with my, whoops, open seam on the back. So, and I try to, like, put a identifying mark with a pin or something there so I know which is the top. Okay, so I'm going to sew this onto this. I have to do right sides together, so I'm going to put it like this, pin those together, then they're ready to be stitched. I'll stitch those together. That's this going to be this seam right here. I'm going to stitch that together, press it open, then I'm going to sew that onto this. Then I will have that. I pin them together carefully, making sure that I have my points matching. So now that long seam is ready for stitching. The answer to some questions. One, no, I don't photograph it and then try to match it up. I just try to be very careful in my keeping track and my pinning so it's all ready by the time I go to the machine. How long do I work in one sitting? Oh, a couple of hours, but I take little breaks. I go check my email. I check to see what's being posted, anything I might want to make a response to. Daylily wants to know what, is, what kind of sewing machine do I have. I have a Bernina. A friend gave it to me after I made her a quilt. I had had decrepit sewing machines my whole life. My vocabulary of filthy words was all directed towards cursing my machines. Everyone was tired of hearing it. After I made her a quilt gift, she gave me a Bernina sewing machine, which is a limousine. It's very simple. It doesn't have overlock, but I'm very happy with it, and my language is considerably cleaned up. The piecing take a few days. What do I do with my quilts? Well, I sell them. I keep them. Sometimes I make them specifically for a family member or something like that. All the seams have to be pressed open as soon as stitched. Yes, I do have some generation heirloom quilts. This quilt was built by my grandmother. Of course, she didn't do it alone. People didn't quilt alone in those days. They, they still don't, any of them. I, I like it, doing it alone. But you can see the detail in the quilting stitches, very precise. This was probably done by her church group. 
The scalloped edge is a nice detail. But look at the fineness. Those are teeny, teeny stitches. A very small pattern. You can see, give you some scale here. Traditional design. Once you know what you're going to do, it's very, very simple. The pieces are all uniform and it's put together in a specific order. The, the quilting design was probably, uh, templates were probably used and it was drawn on maybe with a pencil. You can still see the pencil lines. Joe Cunningham is always looking for pencil lines. He thinks that's kind of cheating. He's a great believer in free form quilting. See, you can still see some pencil line in there. But it doesn't bother me. I put this on my bed this morning. I, I don't bring it out very often, but I should. Why not use these things?